What's up guys, it's your old pal Naughty and Sans here yet again for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Uh, okay, so so three of you asked for a karaoke bouncing ball tutorial, so we're, we're gonna do that today. So we'll be doing it in After Effects today because After Effects, it's just easier to get this kind of thing done. It can be done in Premiere. The same concepts will apply to Premiere if you don't have After Effects, but if you do have After Effects, double click that icon, open up After Effects because we're getting started. All right, boys and girls, After Effects is open and down on my timeline, I have the song that I wanna animate the karaoke ball to. Wait, where have I heard that song before? Oh yeah, in my other transitions video, I'm using it again, A, because it's a catchy song and B, because it has lyrics that aren't too complicated to understand. I just like the song, all right, let's move on. So the lyrics are, even if we're hanging by a thread, by a thread. So let's grab our text tool, come up here and type that out. Brilliant lyrics right there. So now what we're gonna do is come up to our align tab up here and we're going to horizontally align it. We're going to click on the text and then hold down shift and then we will drag it down towards the bottom because traditionally this is where the karaoke bouncing ball videos are done. So now that we have our text lined up on the bottom, what we're gonna do is come up to layer, new shape layer. And then we're gonna tool down the shape layer properties here and we're going to add an ellipse and we're going to add a fill and we're gonna make the fill white because we want the ball to be white. Then we're gonna hit S on the keyboard on our shape layer and scale it down appropriately. We're also gonna zoom in just a bit and we're going to put our ball right over the first syllable of the lyrics. Now guys, the key to winning here is going to be to animate the bouncing ball based on the syllables of the lyrics of the song. So if you guys remember from middle school, if you put your hand under your chin and you talk, every time your chin goes down, that's a syllable in a sentence. So even is two syllables, if, one, we're, one, etc. So let's come to the point in the song where the lyrics actually happen. So right about here is where we're gonna start the animation. So I'm gonna set a position keyframe for the ball here. And then we're gonna move it based on syllables. So even is right here in the song. So I'm gonna click and hold down shift, which will let me move the ball horizontally, but not vertically unless I come back to the starting position. So this is gonna keep it on a nice horizontal plane. This part is important. Moving on. So even, here we go. If we're, well, be careful not to do that. We're, first part of hanging, second part of hanging by a thread. And I'm actually gonna move the ball over thread here. And then by a thread. There we go. So now let's watch that back. So now you guys see that the ball is actually moving horizontally with the pace of the song and with the lyrics, and that is exactly what we want. The horizontal pacing is just as important as the vertical pacing. And now let's do the vertical pacing simply by clicking on the position parameter over here under shape layer and going to separate dimensions, which will separate it into X and Y position. X is horizontal, Y is vertical. Also a middle school thing, conveniently enough. So now what we'll do is we'll come in between the two keyframes right here. You can kind of eyeball it, doesn't have to be exact. And we're just gonna pull this Y position up just a bit. Then we're gonna take this keyframe, we're gonna copy it, and then we're gonna paste it roughly in the middle of all of the other keyframes down here on the timeline. So you guys can just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exact. It's not an exact science. Let's see what we've got. All right, so hanging kind of lags a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll actually just shift these keyframes over just a bit. And you guys will have to do this too. You'll have to retime the keyframes based on mistakes because unfortunately After Effects doesn't handle audio that well. So you may lag, you may get some weird things. So you'll just have to retime the keyframes. Super easy process. Nice, all right, that's feeling pretty good. So by the end of thread, what we wanna do is actually have the ball exit out of our frame. So we'll actually pull this keyframe over just a bit and then we'll go to the end and we'll just have it exit. So by pulling over the X position here and the Y position here, it will exit out of frame. And just like we were having it exit, we're gonna have it enter. So we'll pull this back a couple frames and we'll actually have it enter in from the side of the frame here. So we'll pull it over on the X and we'll pull it up on the Y just a bit. So that way it will enter, start our 
bounce and then exit. So then when we bring in the next round of lyrics, it will enter again. And you'll just have to keep doing this process over and over for every line in the song. And it's time consuming, it is tedious, but if you really want to do this, you really want to do the karaoke bouncing ball effect, put 100% effort in it, people. Do it manually, do it right, and do it good. That's what we do here at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Let's keep going. Obviously, you guys are gonna wanna sell this movement of the bouncing ball. So what I recommend doing is clicking on the motion blur tab over here on your shape layer and also making sure it is turned on in your composition. You need both of these things on. Funny enough, this little icon, which is a ball with motion blur, is exactly what we're doing here. Huh, great lesson. So basically, it's really gonna sell the effect when the ball is entering and exiting. But you can kind of see like as it's moving, you're giving it a little bit of motion blur. It'll just make it look even better. But since we're done with the ball, the last thing that we're gonna have to do, come up here to our text layer. We'll duplicate our text layer by hitting Control D on the keyboard. Then coming over here to the character panel and changing the color of the font. Maybe something like a purple. Then what we're gonna do is take our rectangle mask and we're just gonna draw a mask over the text and we're gonna switch the mask from add to subtract, and we're going to animate the mask path by turning on the little stopwatch right here. And we're gonna animate the mask based on the lyrics in the song uh, musically, so check this out. So it's starting hanging right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to click on this point in the mask right here, hold down shift, click on the bottom point, and then I'm gonna click and hold shift and drag because it'll do it horizontally and not vertically. And then we're gonna bring it to hanging right about there. Thread is starting right there, so we're gonna do the same thing. Click the two points and bring it to thread. And we'll just do thread as its own word. So just like so. And then buy a thread. And we'll animate the mask all the way over to the other side of thread. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we should have a nice first line of this song. Now, could I go back in here and retime these keyframes just a bit? Sure, of course I can. I can just refine it and make it a little bit better each time, but for the sake of this video and for the sake of this tutorial and the sake of your time and my time and everybody's time, we're gonna leave it as is because the concept still applies. So you can go back in, you can retime it, you can retool it, you can make it a little bit better, make it unique, make it your own, and just use the knowledge that you learned in today's video to do your own cool thing and don't just copy me. I haven't said that in a while. Feels good to say it again. I did say earlier, you can do this in Premiere. I did not lie. You can, it's just a little bit more difficult. You don't have the advanced animation parameters like you do in After Effects. So if you are gonna do it in Premiere, best of luck to you. It's gonna take a little bit longer. I'm sorry, not gonna do it today. Use After Effects, it'll make your life easier. Well, thank you so much for watching this week's video, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Not Ian Sands, and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Tomorrow, I'm leaving to go to the UK for a week to shoot with Team Liquid Dota 2. I'm gonna try to do a video when I'm out there. If I don't, I'm sorry. Subscribe, check out the last video, and I'll see you next time.